Now let's look at problem number 67. In problem 67, we want to sketch a graph of a function f that satisfies the following four conditions. Uh, first of all, we want the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of f of x to be infinity. We want the limit as x goes to 0 from the left of f of x to be minus infinity. We want the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x to be 1. And we want the limit as x goes to minus infinity of f of x to be negative 2. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let's just start out. We'll draw a graph. And we know that some things happen as x goes to 0 from the right and as x goes to 0 from the left. Well, as x goes to 0, we're getting close to x equals 0 from the right, from the left. What's happening? As x goes to 0 from the right, the y value, so to speak, is getting close to infinity. So as we come in from the right side, the y values go to infinity. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw an arrow up here saying, as I come in from the right side, we're getting close to infinity. Uh, it says, as I come into 0 from the left side of this function, as I come in from the left side, I'm going to negative infinity. So as I come in from the left side, I'm going to negative infinity. What else are we given? that the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x is 1. So as I go toward x values go towards infinity, I'm getting close to 1. So let me just say, OK, here's 1. And as I go out to infinity, I'm getting close to 1. Also, it says as x goes out towards negative infinity, so as I go out this direction with my x's, then I'm getting close to negative 2. So here's negative 1, here's negative 2. Oops, drew that in the wrong spot. It's all right. And uh, I could change this, maybe I will real quick. I'll just change this real quick. I still want to go down towards negative infinity, but now we're going to curve this into negative 2. So here's minus 1, minus 2, here's 1. And so uh, right now I have this vertical asymptote at 0. I have a horizontal uh, asymptote at 1, and I have a horizontal asymptote at negative 2.